Hey guys, so welcome back to another interesting video. Uh, today we are in uh, Furniture Seniors and I'm gonna start uh, a new episode. Uh, so if you are new to my channel, please do uh, subscribe and also I have had a lot of plenty of videos in SolidWorks and macros playlist, sheet metal playlist, furniture designs and you can also have a look on the component modeling. So there are a lot of uh, stuff which you can have in my uh, playlist. So please do subscribe and uh, yeah without wasting much time let's get started with the the part which today we are going to have a look on the furniture design so uh, let me get started with front or top line okay <clears throat> i'm gonna start with a, a base i mean uh, the boundary to finalize some dimensions like to cover up some 600 by 50 so this can be uh, modified uh, as per your need so this is going to be a like you know kind of a rectangular box which i would like to have and now i'm going to draw a circle so randomly if you, you can just place however you want and i'm going to just main, maintain some dimensions roughly since i've been done the part but yep so here you can offset i uh, use this uh, sketch feature offset option you can have offset of 35 that would be fine yes 35 okay again gonna be 35 So should be fine, should be fine, yep. And the final circle, okay. So I heard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the same thing like I'm gonna paste, I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna copy this. Paste somewhere here. This, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna move this completely. Oops. Select all, or else I will try to make a block. All right, yeah, we have our more options. We'll move to somewhere here. We'll try to make a tangential to this, especially so that it will be easy for us to trim it at a point of time so uh so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna make this i'm gonna select all uh the entities i'm right click i'm gonna create an block so that it will be easy to make the tangential so that this both will be get tangents so and now i'm gonna make the dimensions to control some 225 makes sense yes so uh, now I'm gonna break this uh, block so uh, explode the block yeah fine so uh, now the boundary is ready uh, so now we're gonna make a, 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 a sweep option uh, to maintain this all uh, features as you have seen in the thumb line so I'm gonna select this sweep gonna select a circular profile so I would like to select this as a select group option or like if you are not aware of how to select that right click go for a selection manager and here you go with a single entity since the whole hatch has considered as a single but when you select a selection manager like you have an option to select that as a single entity and gonna select okay so now we are going with 35 yep i'm gonna select ok i uh, will gonna show the sketch and again i'm gonna select future circular and i'm gonna select this see as i told before i'm gonna use selection manager i'm gonna select the sanity and come back 35 yep up 36 it will be get merged with the face so that makes sense for us yes identity so uh 
this I'm gonna repeat in all like for the complete uh, entity so as you can see this is an option where we have to use I'm gonna say I'm gonna repeat the same so clearly it will be visible for you uh, to understand uh, so I'm gonna make the other op option of uh, 36 yep so uh, this I'm gonna do a repeated option so I'm gonna just pass for a second so that I can just do it so that I don't want to waste your time to by doing the repeated task for this complete future so I'm gonna pass for a second and I'm gonna come back with the making all the features okay uh, so almost I have uh, covered all the sweeps with the sketch so the final one which I would like to show with you and to continue the same like how I've done the process I select the same selection manager. I'm gonna select this entity. I'm gonna select OK now 36. I'm gonna select OK. Yeah, so the entities have been done. Uh, so as you can see, like almost like this has been covered and intersect with the future. So uh, like we can uh, always have an option to delete or like to maintain one uh, and then we can remove this option or like if you like the design and uh, to make the intersection you can always go ahead with that so i'm just for now uh, i'm going to delete this uh, patch so it i would like to have the same uh, similar way which have been shown in the thumb line okay fine uh, so also you can provide a fillets over there like however you want like to make a smooth surface inside uh, as you can see uh, five yeah I can select the fifth continuously and also the same way here yes perfect uh, however like five ten like as you like as you wish to do that Okay, uh, so now uh, I'm gonna do the cut. Like, I'm gonna select this feature, I mean, the sketch which I would like to show. Yes, I'm gonna select this plane uh, top. Uh, I'll select this entity convert. All these four I would like to have. And I'm gonna do a cut extrude through all both and flip slide to cut so that the other side way it will get cut so if you want inside you can always have option to use this flip side to cut I'm gonna select okay now so uh, yeah this profile is ready and also I don't want that particular thing like I'm just gonna select this frame uh, top line uh, to uh, use this split option I'm gonna cut I'm gonna select this to remove consume cut body so we have to select enable these options to remove this body select ok now yeah perfect so now uh, again uh, by selecting this profile uh, or, or or friend profile you can just ok and wanna select <coughs> same uh, cut extrude option I'm gonna select ok and now I'm gonna extrude like however I want like somewhere around uh, 5 mm something like that which I would like to have Five or ten, whatever possible, yes, which you like to have in your wall. Yes, perfect. So uh, now the challenging here is like we are about to uh, you know uh, make this uh, changes over here. Like I'm gonna select the fillets, like small like changes which will be the same for all the edges. Like we'll try to make them the same over here yep perfect yes so now uh, since we know the 600 we have to go on a cut again uh, for this particular thing uh, so uh, we can have an eventual uh, cut I mean the layers uh, select top line uh, go ahead with this corner rectangular I'm gonna select uh, this entities now uh, we'll take a reference from this corner edge to this sketch by 6 mm I would like to have how to maintain the same uh, the 6 uh, for cut and also uh, to maintain the same uh, 6 mm thickness of the plywood
width or in a wooden piece yeah so now i'm gonna select a uh, texture and through all both and I'll select okay so i would like to have uh, all the bodies which the bodies to keep so i want all the bodies to keep yes so now i'm gonna select now a, a linear pattern and uh, i'm gonna select the direction which i would like to have this direction and uh, <coughs> space could be 12 yes so that uh, 6 by 6 it will be there and f yeah, 50 okay fine good it's almost like it was covering up here i'm gonna select okay now yes this is what i want all the bodies i want to keep it so this is how you can cut your uh, 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 pattern and you can always have this surface as a dfx and you can export the dfx for the laser cut like you can just hide uh, one by one you can try to get this part and also uh, you can uh, for for in order to understand like how this looks in a a, a theme uh, like you can always have this wooden uh, texture like we can just have a material i uh, try to go for nodan and some uh kind of an appearance which okay i would like to go with 30 or basla so i'm just applying and close yep yeah. that's how it looks and uh, if you put it on the frame by having a proper finish of this wood it looks good for you and also you can have a, a kind of a slot and to maintain one uh, flat piece over the back side to fit into the wall so uh, this is how you can try with the multiple options uh, in SOLIDWORKS and also please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please do comment uh, if you have any clarification or if you want to give a try with a new part just send a mail to me I'm gonna try for you and gonna upload the same video for the audience yeah uh, thanks for watching uh, please do subscribe uh, it's, a, it's a growing channel I need your support for that yep thanks again I will catch up in, in another interesting video bye bye until then